Hello there, this is a brief video to help you with registering, logging in, and getting started with our confirmation class. Uh, probably going to change the name to catechism class because I think this will be useful for other people besides our confirmation students, and I want to make it available to them. But here we go anyways. So you should have an email already from me, and I need to change this over to... There we go. Okay, so... You should have gotten an email from me that looks something like this, depending on your uh, email client. And it's going to have uh, your username, which is probably going to be your name, uh, but it could be whatever. And then a link to go reset your password. I have to enter that. So if you don't have an email like this, or if you want the email of record for the class to be a different email than the one that I sent you, go ahead and send me the new email that you want to be the email of record for that class. In fact, send me the username and the email that you want, and I will set those up and you'll get a new email like this. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to a screen that uh, allows you to change your password. And it gives you, it automatically gives you a very strong password uh, and the hint there is just a hint. Uh, you can put anything you want in this box, but please don't make your password weak uh, because you might leave our system vulnerable. So I'm going to put in, um, I'm gonna just going to put in a simple password uh, because ah, that's still weak. Who cares if it's weak? New, pa uh, new password, PW, whatever, uh, because I'm going to take this account out when I'm done with the demonstration. So new password PW, I have to remember that. Okay, so I hit reset password. I don't want to remember that because I'm getting rid of it anyway. Now, here's the deal. Uh, don't click login right here. It's not that you'll mess anything up if you do, but it will take you someplace different than you need to go to do your confirmation class. So don't click that. What you need to click is uh, just go to journeyoflife.org, right there like that. And uh, the menu item you want to go is worship and teaching, and then down to confirmation class, uh, which I said before might be changing to catechism class. And of course, you know that if you were on a mobile device or something like that, you might it might look like this, in which case this will be the menu, and you have the same uh, options right there, right? Either way. So we're going to go back to this, and worship and teaching, uh, confirmation class, and... There's the confirmation class landing page, which might be changing to catechism, and you can see a place to log in and log out. Right now we're logged out because it shows a way to log in. And all the course information is down here, and uh, anything that doesn't have free next to it, that's going to disappear actually too. Uh, you see a window pops up that says you can't access this content, and that's because you're not logged in. So we're going to log in. I've got my uh, niggly poof there, and then uh, what did I call it? I think I said new password, PW. I hope I don't have to do that again. Let's see. Log in. Don't save it, which, of course, you can do whatever you want with your password if you want your browser to save it. So there we got logged in. Now, uh, in the login logout area, and now it says howdy, John Rallison. So I'm in there. And then there's the logout link right there when you want to log out. Now quickly, just to walk through how the courses work, um, the courses are all listed down here. And so you click on the course that, the not, excuse me, not the course, the lesson. The lessons are all listed down here. And you click on the lesson you want to do. And uh, the lessons are in order. You have to do one before the next, with the exception of these two, which are pretty old. And we've covered the stuff that's in there. But you can watch those again if you want to. So, so you can click on this one, but it's going to tell you, uh, it's going to tell you that the lesson commandment number one, uh, "You shall have no other gods before me," can't be accessed until the required prerequisites, introduction to the Ten Commandments, numbering, etc., is listed. So it'll keep you out of the ones you're not supposed to be in. Uh, so we're going to click on the the individual lesson, and this is going to be familiar to anybody who's in school now, and totally unfamiliar to people in my generation who haven't taken an online course. Title of the lesson, description, this is the way most of them are going to run, and then a video lesson, which is going to uh, be between 3 and 10 minutes long, 
and then there's this button here that says take quiz so after every lesson there's a brief quiz that you have to take to uh, move to the next lesson so you click that and then you'll find out the quizzes are pretty easy uh, there's, it's it's about learning the stuff it's not about tricking you so this says a score of 100 percent is required to pass the test you can take it as many times as you want you start the quiz you go through the quiz and um, let's see I'm, I'm just gonna click random no answers here and because I want to show you the very end of it because it's gonna let you check your answers let me make sure I uh, answer at least one correctly so I get a good example okay so how many did I get correct 20% so I got one out of five good thing I made sure I answered one score of 100% is required to pass now the thing that I wanted to show you is uh, it's this part isn't clear right where it says view summary that's going to show you which uh, answers you got right so I missed one two three four and five and each of these are also clickable so you can see which answer uh, you answered and that you need to not answer that one again at least <laughs> um, I didn't put any clarification in here because when you go through this actually you're gonna find out that they're really uh, they're just basically recall and uh, they're not hard recall and think a little bit if I put a more difficult question in there I'll make sure I put clarification in there so once you pass the test the quiz then you'll get a button here that says uh, go to next lesson and you can do that or not uh, or log out or whatever so uh, but what I'm gonna do now is log out I'm going to um, go back to uh, gonna go back to the main confirmation page right there and then I'm gonna have that logout area that I can get to log out in and I'm gonna log back out so I don't leave myself logged in because that's a bad security practice and that is the introduction of how to get registered and get started. Uh, get going. It's going to be great. And then we're going to, well, depending on who's taking this, if it's confirmation, we'll get together. And if you're taking it on your own, feel free to get a hold of me if you have questions.